is now second all time. There he goes. The 2005. There is a gender pay gap between 61. men and women. At the forefront of this discussion is the disproportionate pay gap in sports. This has caused controversy both on and off campus. So I think men and women should be paid the same in sports because we all do the same amount of work and it's kind of unfair when we're not paid the same and I disagree with anyone who thinks otherwise. I do not think they should be paid the same because women's sports usually do not bring in as much money from sales or fans or income, things like that. But I do not think they should be paid the same until that is equivalent. Yeah, I think they should be paid exactly the same. If you're doing the same job, you should get the same pay. In fact, I think women's soccer actually draws more fans than men, so why shouldn't they get paid the same? Or more. I li I've always liked the phrase, what do you bring to the table? Do they get a lot of endorsements? Do they provide a lot of entertainment? Do a lot of people come to their games? Things like that. And so, when that is even, for sure. The highest paid player in the WNBA, Dewana Bonner, makes an average salary of $225,000 a year. That may seem like a lot, but pales in comparison to Stephen Curry's salary of over $40 million. Her salary is also roughly $600,000 less than the minimum salary of the NBA, coming in at $893,000. The NBA like makes a lot more income than the um, WNBA, so it would just like go bankrupt. There are some, some sports where men and women are paid equally. Tennis and beach volleyball. People tend to watch the boys sports more than girls sports and there's more profiting from that. So they're always going to have more money involved with the guys. Should they be paid the same? Yes. Do I think it will ever happen? Probably not. What are your thoughts on the gender pay gap in sports? Let us know. Take our poll on wctz.news on Instagram. This has been Matt Kish for WCTZ News.